One Circuit Mailbag, coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit. All meatball, no sauce. Right, very light one this one. Containing. Ah, yes, okay, so I probably shouldn't have these uh, simply because these are uh, nano clone ish thingies, but with a twist. So instead of having one of the series from the Atmega 88, 168, or 328, they have, I think, an A tiny 88 on there. So a bit of a trap if you're trying to program it thinking that it's from the Atmega series. So probably not good because, uh, you know, maybe the troubleshooting uh, will be a bit difficult until you realize that it is a different series of chips. Let's get a little closer and have a look at it. That's the chip at the heart of it. Uh, it says Atmel on it, whether that's true or not, I don't know. And it says T8815 megahertz. So yeah, a bit of a weird beast. I think this is probably just in an attempt to keep the cost down on what is a fairly low, um, low end microcontroller module. So instead of having, because I, I, look, I noticed over time that the 328 started dropping out, the 168s appeared, uh, the 88, at mega 88s appeared, and now we seem to have the A tinies uh, appearing. And I think that's just a cost cutting measure. It shouldn't be a problem as long as you know that it's there and as long as you're prepared to accept you know, and I'll put uh, up the specs side by side, so we, side by side, so we make a comparison. Let's say with the uh, the at mega eighty eight and the a tiny eighty eight. So yeah, just a few sort of spec differences. Not a problem if you're aware of it. Still a very capable microcontroller and uh, and very cheap. So um, yeah, good get. Feels like tubes of ICs from the outside. But it's not. Oh, wow. Wow, indeed. Look at these little guys. Uh, so more lighting opportunities for this very mat. And uh, I'm going to plug that straight in and see if it makes a difference to the lighting. I'm thinking it's 5 volts. Um, yeah, let's plug it in and have a look. Yeah, they look good. So I'm going to break a few USB conventions. Small children should look away now. Uh, but we'll see if we can't get this thing to actually fire. Wow, nice. Yeah, very good. So at what difference will it make? Let's have a look. So um, it's probably good to have something in there that we can have a look at. 555 project. Nice. Let's zoom in on that. So this is just about eliminating, here we go, eliminating shadows. So um, no light and extra light. Oh yeah, I think that does make a pretty good difference. So I'll probably put it up near on the frame that I've got the camera on and, uh, and that will shine down and help eliminate some shadows, give a bit more lighting. It's a nice soft warm white, I would say. It doesn't look like it's a, uh, it's a harsh, uh, natural light or certainly not a cool white but um, yeah I think that's a pretty good pretty good addition to the the staging here and uh, and also it's great to have extra lighting when you're doing things like some SMD soldering or something like that for old eyes lights some packaging in there though so very well packaged and Inside the package, inside the packages. A couple of packages, which look like they've got a display on them. What else have they got? Oh, wow. What a cute little guy. So I think this is a little clock. Oh, I'm so keen to get some power in here and see what it does, if anything. There's some setting stuff and uh, a little backup battery. I don't know what that chip is. Let's have a look and see if we can get a little closer in on that one. If it's marked at all, it is. 
it is a hmm, the lighting's defeating me R8025 looks like and then underneath it's got well upside down it's got 60x and something else nice voltage regulator I'm guessing uh, what does it say 52L50 B two zero ten T. Hmm. Let's get some power on it and uh, and see what comes out of it. Cute little things. Got five volts coming in. The thing is live. I've even managed to set the time so that's accurate to what it is at the moment. So I guess at its very heart it is a clock. But this thing coming out of it is I think a temperature sensor because if I click on this and I'm going to have to do some reading. I get a five point something i don't know what even that is voltage yeah that's got to be voltage look five volts so it's flicking around a little bit but i'd say that's what that is and 11.7 degrees which is yeah pretty accurate for what it is down here at the moment i'm um, just checking with my other thermometer and it says 10 so yeah pretty accurate for that i mean it might be a bit warmer because i had my pudgy fingers all over it for a few minutes setting the clock there's a few other bits and pieces in here that is a mode which flicks between a lot of different things. Uh, let's try and figure it out. 5 volts, 4.5 volts, 11.9 degrees, 5 volts, 4. Point, I don't know why it's looking madly between those. There looks to be some sort of mode where it, maybe it's a countdown or an alarm. That might be a countdown timer. That might be an alarm. And you can also set, I think, days and... Oh, so that might be the 18th of the 8th. Actually, that would make sense. So you can set, I think, also the um, the month and the day. I don't know about the year. So yeah, very interesting little unit for the for the price. I've got a couple of them, um, mainly answering the need of uh, like a nighttime visible uh, clock that we can see uh, somewhere, you know, and it's just reporting on things like yeah, time and temperature. I mean, I make those as well. So I'm just interested in the comparison of the two. This one's pretty cool for the price. Nice one. The box, hooray, my favourite. Getting better at it, I'd have to say. But not fantastic. Aha! Orange pie box inside, nice. I think they're becoming my favourite, the orange pies. They're probably about a third of the price of the equivalent spec raspberry pies. They're just quirky enough that they... <laughs> They satisfy my need for bizarre technology, but not so quirky that uh, they don't work. So, for instance, I have a pie hole uh, which um, drops all the ads out on my local uh, network. Um, I'll link a video up to uh, a previous one where I put that together. It's still going along fine. In fact, I'm thinking about doing a video about the pie hole and things like updating and accessing and uh, all the whitelists and blacklists and all that sort of stuff that goes along with it. So if you have any interest in that, please let me know in the comments below. This one here is a very low spec one and I'm not even sure what I've really got in mind for, um, for this device. So we'll put it in the category of educational purposes. Uh, can I access it? What sort of um, specs does it have? So clearly Wi-Fi, uh, it's got a, can't read that, uh, let's have a look. It's got, I have to get a bit closer, I think, let's have a look. Um, I'm not reading that chip real well at the moment. And I'll put the specs up because I'm not reading it, it's got a wire in the road and not easy to see what's going on with that one. It looks like, is it 8810? It doesn't sound familiar to me. Uh, it does look like it's got a camera, uh, a, a, well, a dock for a camera, which is great, and a SD card on the other side for the operating system, um, USB, uh, it's got a little micro USB on this side. I see some dip switches in there, do I? What is that? It looks like little dip switches. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Um, yeah, so a little bit of playing. So that's what this is. Reset, I'm assuming. Lots of other bits and pieces. 
So cheap little orange pie for God knows what, but um, uh, oh, look, all the GPIOs broken out here too, a lot of them. This could end up being a very useful little unit. So uh, we'll keep a track of this as time goes on, but orange pies, get into them, they're fantastic. Hi ho, hi ho. Ah, okay, yes. So I'm lighting this very bench that we're looking at, and uh, the stand that I've got includes a couple of USB um, female ports. So the plan is to split the uh, the juice coming out of those for the lighting to this. Let's set that up. Um, can I do that straight away? I'll just turn off this guy. Let's do it without delay. So I'll plug in the extender. Alrighty, and then we will have um, this one coming in here. Nice, and then theoretically, two coming out here. Let's bring in these guys who are gonna be pressed into service soon. So that's, is that gonna go in? Yes, nice, and this one as well. Um, without exploding everything, hopefully. Yeah, look at that. Nice, so I'm gonna put these up here. Not sure what configuration will be. Um, let's get something in here so we can have a look. Uh, thanks, 555 guy. Uh, let's have a look, so get nice and close. So we'll go without lighting, with the current lighting, I should say, that's what it looks like. Let me just refocus and, yep. So that, I mean, it's okay, it's good. But then these guys just sitting up here, so much better and uh, let's just redo the lighting on this one yeah look at that pretty shadowless pretty nice pretty clear so uh, that's what that usb splitter is for nice one he ain't heavy he's my package a lot of light ones coming at the moment and this is what on earth is that just the one Hmm. Let's get him out of there and have a closer look. I see a USB-C, and I don't know what else I see. Let's get right down into it. Well, would you look at that little Raspberry Pi labeled chip, whether it is or it isn't, I don't know. Um, in the 42nd week of 2021 manufactured, PAK, would that be Pakistan, maybe? RP2B2. Little tiny guy. Uh, what else we got on the back there? I'm going to have to get, have a look at this. So this is a crystal. Can I see? No, I can't see anything written on it very easily in terms of uh, what's going on. I'm assuming that's a voltage regulator there. Uh, not leaping out at me either, J2UE, hmm, not sure what that means. And on the other side, we've got the um, USB-C adapter, um, probably got, I'm guessing that that would be some sort of chip to do UART, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. And then a couple of buttons, uh, a boot button and a reset button. Pretty keen to get this one. So is that an LED on there as well? I think it is. A couple of LEDs maybe. Maybe power and maybe, I hope one's addressable. What a neat little unit. This is exactly what I'm looking for and I'd like to make one myself, but I need to get hold of uh, a PCB. If anyone knows of a PCB out there, around about this size or perhaps not that much bigger because I've got these chips and I want to solder them up and, uh, and make one of these little guys myself. In the meantime, keen to explore this one. RP2040-0. Nice one. That is the mailbag for the week, and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya.